In week 10, big name players like Aaron Rodgers, Ezekiel Elliott, Cooper Cup, and Darren Waller all had down weeks. There's going to be big name players in week 11 that will have similar weeks. In today's video, I'm going to share multiple big name players who will have down weeks and disappoint your fantasy team. Before we get started though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. Deshaun Watson is going to have a bad week in fantasy. Opposing quarterbacks have combined to throw for two touchdowns in four games at M&T Bank Stadium this season. Baker Mayfield and Tom Brady are the only opposing QBs to throw them this year, and the Ravens secondary is led by Marlon Humphrey and Earl Thomas, and they are a big reason the Ravens are 7-2 heading into this game. DeAndre Hopkins will also have a bad week, and Ravens corner Marlon Humphrey will hold him to less than 70 yards. The Ravens haven't lost since September 29th, and won't let Deshaun come into their house and change that either. Look elsewhere for week 11, as this is easily the worst matchup this week. The next big name player that will have a bad week is predictably Cardinals running back David Johnson. Johnson has been awful this year, as he is averaging just 3.7 yards per carry, and has to play the vaunted 49ers defense in week 11. No doubt the 49ers are pissed off that they lost against Seattle, and I fully expect them to take that on rookie quarterback Kyler Murray and running back David Johnson. I wouldn't play DJ at all this week, and the only way he makes an impact is if he scores a garbage time touchdown. The 49ers will hold him to less than 50 yards rushing like he has been in all but two games this season, and he will continue to disappoint his fantasy owners. The only thing saving DJ at this point is his name, and even now people are realizing how bad of a fantasy option he is late in 2019. The next big name player that I think has a down week is Cowboys wide receiver Amari Cooper. Amari lit up my Vikings last week as he went for 11 catches for 147 yards and a touchdown, and some of those catches to say the least were absolutely unreal. But the reason I think he has a down week aside from playing Darius Slay is earlier in the year against Green Bay he had an 11 catch 226 yard performance and followed it up the next week with one catch for just 3 yards. On opening day he had over 100 yards and in week 2 he had just 44. There's a trend here and I don't think Amari has a big day in large part due to this trend of a great game followed by an average or in the case of the one catch 3 yard performance a very poor performance. The next big name player that has, and let me get this clear, a down week for his insane standards is Saints receiver Michael Thomas. Thomas in two career games in Raymond James Stadium has not gone for over 100 yards and honestly I think that extends into three career games in Raymond James Stadium. Given he went for 180 and two touchdowns against the Bucks the last time these teams played, I would imagine the Bucks' point of emphasis on defense would be to double and maybe even triple team Thomas so they make sure this does not happen again. I think a realistic stat line for Thomas would be 6-7 to seven catches for 80 yards and 0 touchdowns. By no means am I saying don't start Thomas, I'm just saying he will have a down week for his legendary standards that he's setting for himself. By the way, Thomas is the best receiver in the NFL and it's not close for those who needed to know that, and that's coming from a Vikings fan. The big name tight end that I think is a down week is Eagles tight end Zach Ertz. There's a few reasons for this and the first one is his opponent. New England is going to be more than pissed off Sunday as they got embarrassed a few weeks ago by the Ravens and had a bye week to get ready for this game. The Eagles of course will be without top two receivers Alshon Jeffrey and Deshaun Jackson, so the Pats can effectively take Zach Ertz out of the game and leave Stephon Gilmore on Nelson Aguilar all game. I fully expect the Pats to roll and stop the Eagles offense completely in this one. The only way I see Ertz or any Eagle for that matter having a substantial fantasy performance is in garbage time. I think this game gets ugly quick on Sunday and the Patriots win by at least 17 points if not more. That's all I have for today's video. I know it was a short one but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless and if you did please like the video and subscribe to the Football Analysis YouTube channel. Again, thank you for watching and have a great day. Skull Vikes.